Dresses are one of the most popular items to wear during the spring and summer season. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about six popular styles for the spring and summer season and how you can style them. Hi there, my name is Jamie and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new around here, I just wanna give you a little bit of information about me and why I'm doing what I'm doing before we get started. So I started in the fashion industry over 20 years ago. I started working women's contemporary retail for many, many years. And then I got into my own styling business and created my own fashion blog called Style by Jamie Lee, which I will also link for you below. And all of my blog posts now are associated with my videos, so I will link that as well. And that brought me into creating a style subscription for women so they can easily have style advice right at their fingertips. It's called Your Guide to Style, which is also the name of this YouTube channel. So these two work together, the YouTube channel and the style subscription to help women find better style, help them dress themselves. I've got a lot of cool content coming up. I have a bunch of guides in the style subscription. If you wanna try it out and look through those guides for whatever your needs are for your daily activities, you will find outfits, style tips on how to put those outfits together, links to shop those items. You will have all kinds of really cool things that this app can provide at a very, very low price. And this just helps me to do what I love to do, and that is help you look better for everyday activities. My first choice for dresses this spring and summer season that I think are really popular, and it's actually one of my favorites, and it is what I'm wearing today. It is a casual flowy maxi dress. This maxi dress I have on, I got a few years ago, and the photo that I'm going to pop up is actually a solid version of it in a sleeveless style. And so this version is what is out this year of the same exact dress. These dresses are a lot of places this year. I have recommended either a solid or a striped dress like mine. So in the first outfit with the solid dress, you'll see that I have added a really cool tote bag, some really fun earrings, and just some flat sandals that have a little bit of embellishment on them. So when you are finding a flowy, casual maxi dress like this, it's great to find something that has a little bit of shape. So I am recommending an A-line shape like the one in the photo. And so we're gonna throw up the one now that has the stripes in it. So you have a couple of options. If you don't like solid and want stripes, then you could do that. They also have other patterns, but I think these are gonna be the most popular. You will find lots of different places. And like I was saying, the A-line styling, which is in both of these dresses, is great for almost any body shape. And a maxi dress is a long dress. It's going to hit um, at your ankle or longer. And so this dress is really great with a flat sandal like you have seen in these, vi in these images. And you could also throw on some sneakers for for daily wear if you don't wanna do a sandal and you're going to be walking around and want something a little more comfortable, a sneaker is perfect with this. Now I have added a denim jacket. I do not have that in either of these images, but you can do whatever you want with this dress. The things that make it look the best are going to be additions like a cute handbag, a cute shoe and a great earring. I don't have any earrings on with mine because they get in the way of my mic and I didn't want to have to deal with the craggling today. So that's why I don't have, but I would have on a white pair of statement earrings with this today. So I have put statement earrings with both of these outfits. When you're wearing a dress like this, if it is not fitted at the top and go out at the bottom or just even a straight fit, it's going to look really overwhelming on you. So I'd try to find something that fits and creates some shape. If you wanna break up the pattern, if you wanna break up the solidness of a solid or the stripes of the stripe and you don't want it to look so um, heavy on your body or just all one color or one pattern, you could always throw over jacket. You could tie the jacket around your waist. You can put it over the shoulders. You could throw on a scarf. 
You could do lots of different things with it to try and break it up. You could even do just a chunky longer necklace. So those are options to help you style one of these longer maxi dresses and make it look really good. So in the photos, I just did them with a great handbag and a great statement earring, but feel free to throw on a cardigan or a jacket or something that looks really cute with it that will help break it up. So either way works and that is my first choice. So second choice for dresses is going to be similar to this, um, but it's a t-shirt dress. So this is a casual dress where this next one is a casual dress as well, but it's more of a t-shirt style. So it looks even that much more casual. So the t-shirt dress I think looks best if it is a little bit either straight or fitted in the waist and kind of A-line. So the first one we're going to look at is a midi length, which if you're not familiar with midi length, midi length is going to come uh, mid calf usually, or it could come a little higher. It just is below the knee but not all the way down to the ankle because then it becomes a maxi. So your midi is probably gonna be about mid calf. And this is a really popular length and you're going to see a lot of t-shirt dresses in this length this season. And the thing I love about this first option is it's solid, but it has a cute little ruffle sleeve that makes it a little bit more interesting. So if you're going to find a t-shirt dress, find a cute little element on it that would help to just bring it to life and make it not look so boring. And if it is more plain, you can just throw on some great accessories and you could even do a scarf. Now I added a scarf to this outfit as an option because the dress was solid and if you wanna break it up, that's a great way to do it or you could do a long necklace. Now this dress, you could do a sandal, a flat sandal or you could do a sneaker. So the next t-shirt dress that I wanted to show you is actually a short striped t-shirt dress that comes in a little bit, it's a little more A-line. It's, it's not oversized, but really cute styling. The stripes make it really cute. And so I put a crossbody bag with this. And if you wear a crossbody bag, it's gonna go across the body and the strap is gonna help create some shape in that dress. So if you're running out and wanna throw on some sandals and that crossbody bag and just some earrings, you've got a really cute look and you look like you purposed your outfit and styled it that way, as opposed to just throwing a bag over your shoulder and some sneakers on and just the dress. So. I think adding accessories can make a huge difference in a lot of these outfits. Scarves, longer necklaces, big statement earrings, fun shoes, like I did the embellished shoes, any of those things will help to just bring the outfit together and make it look more attractive. Now that we've talked about the casual flowy maxi dress and the t-shirt dress, I wanna talk about something that's probably a little bit dressier, but it doesn't have to be too dressy, so I'll call it semi-dressy, which is the eyelet dress. Eyelet is everywhere this year, guys. It is in <laughs> tops and dresses and shorts and, I mean, you name it, you are going to find eyelet. And it's a really pretty feminine detail and it's great for spring and summer because it just adds kind of a cooling element for that warmer weather. And the eyelet dress, the one I have in this photo is a beautiful green color. I've seen a lot of colored eyelets, so I do have lots of colored eyelet dress options for you in the styling application. This is one of them, and you can't tell by the photo, but it is a midi length, so it does come below the knee and makes it really cute. So I think this dress is actually going to be better styled with a little bit of a heel. You could do a flat sandal if you wanted to, if you're a little bit taller. If you're shorter like me, it might be better if you found one that was knee length if you want to do a flat sandal. So I think something with a little bit of a heel on it's going to look better. And if you have great, pretty accessories for this, that's fine, but you don't have to because the dress speaks volumes. Now, the thing about this is this dress is a fit and flare. So it's fitted at the top, flares out at the bottom, so it has a little bit of a skirt to it. 
This is going to be great on most body, body shapes. So if you're straight down, if you have a little bit bigger hips, if you have a little bit bigger bust, this is going to help balance lots of different things. And you can even throw a cute jacket over this if you wanted to you know, cover up some of the tight fit of the top part. But I think most everybody's going to love this style and you're going to see this in a lot of different dresses that are eyelet this season. Most of them are going to be flowy like this and they're going to be really, really cute. And I think this is the perfect option for this spring and summer season. And if you have weddings, if you have showers, baby showers, bri bridal showers, anything like that that comes in the spring and summer season, then this is the perfect option for all of those things. And I think this is definitely a great addition. So the next thing I have talked about in previous videos, because this is a trend that is huge this spring season, it is a very classic piece. So I have this as part of my essentials video, and then I also have it part of my trends video because I think it is both. It's trending upwards where you're seeing lots more of them, but it's also a great classic piece for most women to have in their closet. So you're going to see the shirt dress here that is more of a straight fit and it does tie at the waist. So this is going to bring in a little bit of shape. If you don't like the tie, take the tie off and add a cute belt. This I, you can style with a sneaker and some fun earrings, or you could do a flat sandal. And then if you wanted to put a block heel woven shoe, which I also talk about in a shoe post that I'll link for you, all my shoe trends for the spring and summer that I love, one was woven shoes. And so that is a great combination with this, but sneakers, and a fun earring just to go out during the day is perfect. The reason why I love a shirt dress is because it is so versatile. You can dress this up with heels or you can dress it down with sneakers. And I think it's the perfect option for anyone. And so you're going to find lots of these. And I do recommend that you find a shape that fits your body. Not all of them are straight like this one. There are lots of options that have an A-line skirt to them that you could also do if you have a little bit more hips than you do bust. So I think you would be able to find, and I have lots of options for you. I'll link a couple of different styles in this video. All these items will be linked below for you. And I'll give you some options for things that I would also recommend if you don't like the one in the photo, but subscribe to my app and you will find lots of great options there. So the next one I wanna talk about is a tiered baby doll dress. And this one is a little tricky, I think. And if you do not find the right one, it's not going to look that good. So make sure that you follow these tips to help you find the right one if you really like that baby doll dress. Now, a lot of women love these because they're comfortable. They're great to throw on in the spring and summer, but they are usually really loose and give you no body shape. And seriously, I, I think people might get the question of, are you pregnant or when are you due? Because you have this dress on and it's not styled properly. So that is not fun to have happen. And I've actually been in line behind women that have been asked that question and they were not pregnant. So you don't wanna get asked that question. This is a really cute dress to wear, but it should be worn in the right way. So first, if you're looking for a baby doll tiered dress, you can see the bright pink one I have in this photo and it's really, really cute. But if you notice the way the tiers are done, so you can see that this one is a little bit loose. There are some that are more loose than this. And let me give you some tips on how to cover that or how to make that look better. So the tier, the first tier should land somewhere close to your waist. If it lands up here as an umpire waist, then it's going to come out even more once it gets to that next tier and they're just not gonna line up properly. So make sure that tier comes down and is closer to your waist so it actually will elongate the upper body and then it'll start flowing out. So this one is the perfect example and that makes the skirt not so big. So it's somewhat baby doll but it still gives you a little bit of shape. And I think 
if you really love that loose baby doll and that umpire wasted one, just throw a jacket over it. Throw something, you know, even a cropped denim jacket to help it get help give it some shape. With this dress, it's really hard to belt or put anything around the waist because it just doesn't hit properly. And that's not what it's meant for. So just find one that fits good. And then the tiers should be long enough on you to where it lengthens your body and it comes about above the knee. If you have really long legs and you wear a really short um, baby doll dress that is also umpire waist, it's just not going to look that good. So make sure that you've got the length on it, that you've got a good number of tiers, and that it's not too flowy. And then if you want to also help, then put on some wedge sandals that have a little bit of a heel, that have a little bit of embellishments, chunkiness to them, like the one in this photo, that gives it a little bit more of a feminine feel, but also helps balance the looseness of that dress. So anytime you have looser things on top, it's better to have a chunkier shoe not too chunky but something that has a little bit of substance to it and then you could also throw on a sneaker with this one it would be cute you could do a platform sneaker that was a little bit chunkier and then add a really cute earring and then just a shoulder bag you could even do a crossbody bag if you wanted to um, you could also do a longer necklace that would help break it up a little bit and you will find baby doll dresses. I have one in a floral print that's really cute. Um, you can find them in solids or prints. I'm showing you a solid here, but I do have other options in the app that will give you some print options if you wanted a print. But those are just some really good suggestions for you if you like that baby doll fit, if you like wearing looser dresses, you can make them look a little bit better by using those tips and I'll link the blog post below which has all those tips in it. Now the last dress that I want to talk about is a floral dress. You're going to see all kinds of floral dresses this season and my favorite ones are the long maxi dresses like the one in this photo. So I did want to show you guys this because there are so many beautiful long maxi dresses out there. They are a little bit more dressy than your everyday dress which i'm not saying you could not throw this on with some sandals and go to a summer barbecue or something if you wanted to um, they're great for summer weddings they're great for showers you can throw them on with heels and the heels that you see here are the woven heels that i was talking about and these go with lots of different things i will provide a link for you below and there's also other options in my app if you want to check it out but this dress, just putting on an earring and a nice handbag will take you even out on a date night. So you will find lots of different maxi dresses or floral dresses that are maxis, or you will find short versions. So choose whatever one you love. Just find a cute floral dress because they are just wonderful. And a lot of these options, and this is my favorite option for that, will help you move into the fall. So it's not just a spring thing. If you found a great maxi dress like this, you could wear it year round if you wanted to, to occasions that you have that come up and weddings that you have that come up because you could throw a blazer over this in the fall with some cute closed toe pumps and you've got a great outfit. So most of these dresses that I'm suggesting are very versatile for you. They can be casual or some of these can be a little more dressy. And I think these are the most popular that I have found. Most of the time when I'm creating outfits for my app, I will add dresses that I can find lots of different options for you that are very similar. And these are the ones that I have found this season. And so I hope you enjoyed all of those. Please leave me questions or any suggestions below. If there's a dress that you love, I would love to hear about it. And if you really love this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't, a thumbs down is totally fine. So I know and hit that subscribe button and follow along with my weekly videos. 
Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed those six styles of dresses that are great for this spring and summer season and how you can style them. And if you would like to sign up for a free trial of our online style subscription, please go to www.yourguidetostyle.com and I will also provide you a link for that below.